told to go this way, so I'm assuming so. Come on. So apparently all of these chairs like pull in so it can seat 5,000 5, people. Reminds you from Harara. I'm following you, Erica. Welcome. <laughs> A few words to say, Brandon. A few words, man. Camera shy. What do you think? Hey. What do you think? Huge, hey. Yeah. Massive. First impressions? Mm. Where are they going to have a flashlight? I was thinking that. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. The whole way around. <coughs> yeah. I don't imagine this like sold out though. It's so crazy. Yeah, this would be nuts. Men's 105 plus. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Not bad yourself? Yeah, pretty good. All right, first impressions, what do you think? Ah, uh, it's pretty good, yeah. yeah. Great venue. Yeah, pretty keen for it? Yeah, definitely. It's being included in with the other sports at the same time. So yeah, yeah. Badminton will be running. Um, and then at the same time, it's just, yeah, nice looking venue, nice and big. Be okay, so, so the lifting will be sharing the venue at the same time with other sports? Yeah, so badminton will be in the other hall. Okay. Running the whole game. Yep. And then this hall will be weightlifting days one to six or yep. seven. And then we'll, they'll change over, then wrestling will take over this hall. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll have all the, uh, the warm up area will be in here and the platform. Yeah, so pretty much be like a big wall will come across here. Yep. Warm ups will be behind there, platform will be here, then the seats will come in. The seats will come in there. Massive uh, seat setup, isn't it? Where they yeah. just retract back and. I think they said it can hold 5,000, but yeah. it's, it's a full configuration. Yep. Like, I'm not sure about weightlifting, maybe two, three thousand. Yeah, okay. In that configuration. Be good, it's yeah. exciting. Yeah, it's sort of becoming real now. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you can see in the venue, so it's good to see. Seeing there, seeing those, oh wow, it's sort of chomping at the bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get the, get the uh, <laughs> training motivation going up. Yeah, that's it, yeah. This, this is all you need to see this yeah. Yeah, all right, thanks, mate. We're wearing wrestling suits. What's your thoughts, Ben? First thoughts. Well, shit, I walked in and it was just like I said to Brendan, I was just like, shit, this is a bit flash. <laughs> uh, I didn't expect it to be this big, I guess. Um, you know, it looks pretty big from the outside, but yeah. once you walk in, it's just like, wow. It's like, a, yeah, the TARDIS. Yeah. A lot bigger on the inside. Yeah, it's just amazing. Yeah. yeah. And you're off to the juniors. The juniors? Yeah, yeah, so we leave. Uh, I leave mid-June yeah. um, over in Tokyo, so uh, it'd be good to be good to fly over with a junior team for that one, yeah. and um, yeah. you know, experience something new. Obviously, competing in an age group up, yeah. um, you know, it'd be good. It's been a big year for you too, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah. 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 Hopefully, so we got um, so we got juniors, junior worlds, yeah. um, like I said in June, yeah. and then we've got 
uh, Com Champs and Oceana Champs on yep. the Gold Coast in September. Mm -hmm. um, and at the moment, you know, this talks with my coach um, that I'm a, I'm a senior world hopeful yeah. uh, oh, over nice. in America, then hopefully yep. the, the chance to compete at the Com Games trials in December. So, yeah. uh, can't wait for the big year. Yeah. Be good. And how's the youth? Uh, it's going good. It's going yeah. good. Um, so, world youth, how, how was that? It was. <laughs> It was good. Um, like I was talking to Damon on the bus, like I'd never been to Bangkok before. Yeah. Um, so it was awesome to go to go see a new place, meet new people. Yep. Um, obviously, compete at Youth Worlds again was an amazing experience. Yeah. Um, massive privilege to be able to represent my country on the world stage, like yep. always. Um, and you know, get to see a few more world records broken. <laughs> so it was it was a good time. Yeah. So it's always all the experience is something you never forget or with you for a lifetime. So. Exactly. So yeah. Uh, yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, thanks for that. No worries. Thank you very much. <laughs> What's your thoughts on your sort of venue here? Awesome. It's so cool, eh? It's massive. Yeah. It's uh, it's going to be vibrant, like come 2018. Yep. It's going to blow the roof off. Yeah. It's going to be so cool. Yeah, it's an awesome venue. Yeah, so once you saw it, you know, like, you know, something you got real, like it's... Got real, got the, got the goosebumps. Goosebumps, hum, yeah. Goosebumps, hum, and tingles. When I first walked in this morning, yeah. it was like, oh, it's real. This <laughs> yeah. is happening, so, yeah. Super excited. Right, it's going to be epic, isn't it? It's going to be so cool. Yeah, like, you know, tone, you know, like... Local one. <laughs> I think it was, I thought it was time to retire last time, but when we know that there was coming home games, I thought, nah, let's hang on another three, four years and let's cool. do it again. Good. You then retire. And then retire. I'm yeah. home grade, front of my family and friends, yeah. and with Bill's help. So, yeah. okay, that's awesome. awesome. Thanks for that. Awesome. Thanks, no Marty. Thanks. Cheers, Marty. <laughs> Cheers. I just asked you, so um, first talk when you walked in, first saw this. It was a came in. Um, it was pretty awesome just to, I guess, have a first glance as well of where we're hopefully going to be in a year's time. Um, they've done a really good job. It's all, you know, nice and brand new and uh, they've, you know, I don't know. It's pretty surreal almost as well though because yeah. like, see ya. And then you've seen the venue sort of like it's... Yeah, like everything's coming home. together and, yeah. you know, we can only hope that we're going to be standing here. Um, for the competition time and but it's awesome to be able to actually see it to, to know yeah. that it's here it's ready you know it's just you know now it's just about us putting it together and you know put in the hard yards and try to get here mm -hmm. so you feel it you touch it you smell it for that's it yeah this is it now it's, it's happening and especially being you know that it's so close to home like yeah i know i mean for me um, all the comp games so far, like Melbourne was by far the best, mm -hmm. and so to be even closer to home, mm -hmm. I think it's just going to be just a, a once in a lifetime opportunity for any yeah. any weightlifter. So it's family all bought tickets yet? We have. Um, yeah, so I've bought extras just in case as well, and then um, you know, hoping that you know we got so the right session. If anyone's and wondering, Eric will be just around here uh, scalping tickets, okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't make the team, then definitely uh, there's plenty for the 53s. Um, but you know they've also got stuff for the gymnastics and the, yep. the ceremonies and everything mm -hmm. and they're, they're really you know um, having a look at you know anything else but they put in you know because my, my dad represented Australia at Worlds for gymnastics mm -hmm. and my mum's represented yep. Queensland so they're, they're really interested in seeing the gymnastics but I'm sure that you know they're going to be putting putting requests down for other sports as well because like this isn't something that you can see all the time you know like mm -hmm. I don't know when it's going to ever come back here, so why not make the most of it? And the tickets are, you know, like I think for weightlifting they're forty dollars each, yeah. and so you know to see a world class event in, in your backyard, you know, make the most of it. And forty dollars, you know, that's cheaper than yeah. you know having to travel somewhere and get accommodation and to see an event like this. So yeah, the next closest one we had was uh, I suppose the Sydney Olympics. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you make it down there to see that at all? Or? No, I. Sydney Olympics, I had not even learned about weightlifting yeah. at that stage. So I, I started weightlifting at the end of the year 2000. So okay. yeah, so, <laughs> so I didn't, yeah, I didn't even know yeah. about weightlifting. But um, even for Melbourne, like my family all flew down and um, just stayed for the weightlifting because it was yeah. too expensive for accommodation mm -hmm. and the flights and everything. So uh, they just literally flew in, watched my event, and flew home. So yeah. being that it's you know a short drive away for, for everyone here in Queensland or you mm -hmm. know Brisbane and the Gold Coast, it's uh, there's so many different things that we can see in it, you know, such a good price, so I wouldn't... Well, uh, 
And I noticed you have a sort of crack at everything in here. Yeah. yeah. You know, why not? It's a bit Give of a fun. Yeah. <laughs> I actually thought it was over, so I thought, you know, everyone's packing up. So I yeah. thought, I'm going to go and have a go before everyone leaves. But I didn't realise that um, we were still kind of going, so. Well, you did a pretty good job with a hip toss down there now. Mate. <laughs> Slamming dummy down. That was actually really nerve-wracking. <laughs> she made it look so easy and like, you know, yeah. she really, yeah. Oh, she's like, oh, this is an easy one. I'm like, are you crazy? Yeah. Like, that does not look easy. But surprisingly, like, um, I was, when I was doing the badminton, it was so difficult, yeah. like, because it's so small. And then you got to sort of, like, move around a lot. And I think because, like, you have a lot of ner nervous energy, mm -hmm. like, sweating yep. a bit. And, like, yeah. so... It looks a lot easier than what it is, so that was yeah. fun to try as well. So, awesome. yeah. well, thanks for that. Thank you for having me, as always. <laughs> <laughs>